Yo, 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 man, what's going on with y'all boys, man? You already know, man, it's your boy, Fly Guy Only, man. Back out again with another video. Hope everybody out there rocking good and smooth and stuff like that. You already know, man. It's snowing outside, man. I ain't gonna even hold y'all, man. It's snowing like a bit out here. But, uh, I gotta come at y'all with a video real quick. It's like literally 2.30 in the morning on a Friday, bro. I'm just outside and trapping and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Doing whatever I do and stuff like that, whatever. But I was sitting here in the car and stuff. And I told myself, like, man, Joe, I've been wanting to make this video for a long ass time and I still haven't did it yet. But I was like, man, you know what? Because I'm just sitting here chilling and stuff like that, man. This is a perfect time to make it real quick. And this video right here is basically talking about the reason why I don't work no nine to five job. When I say a nine to five job, why I don't work for no corporation, why I don't work for no company, no nothing. Like, I just, I just can't do it, right? So basically, well, it pretty much was, you know what I'm saying, uh, the break of the camel's back and stuff like that was, I was working at this one job, right, where I live at and stuff like that. Uh, it was called x Bell No Bill, or something like that, or whatever the case may be. Uh, give y'all a quick little uh, scenario, like how I came across and stuff like that. Um, I was going through this temp service, or whatever the case may be. And um, this temp service I've been messing with for like the longest, right? Like I've been messing with this temp service since like, 2000 and I don't know 15 or something like that right and um every time that you know what I'm saying I you know job gets quit or I get fired or whatever the case may be you know what I'm saying I always go through them and stuff like that you know what I'm saying see what they got or whatever so um I go to this temp service again and stuff like that or whatever the case may be this is a couple years ago right so I go to this temp service again and stuff like that and um you know what I'm saying they let me know that yo you know we got a job or whatever the case may be that's um you know close to your residence and i ain't gonna lie like this job right was literally like i'll say like man five minutes away from where i live at right so i'm like damn that's that's cool because usually y'all be giving me jobs as you know 15 20 30 minutes away and stuff like that so five minutes away that's what's up right so i go there to the place and stuff like that we do a uh in-person interview and stuff like that whatever case may be um you know, the people that I talk to and stuff like that, they like who I am and stuff like that, whatever the case may be. They get back in tune with the temp agency and stuff like that. The temp agency calls me back like, yo, you know, they like you and stuff like that. Um, they want to go ahead and bring you on and stuff. I'm like, all right, bet. So I get put on and stuff. Now, the first scenario that I already knew that this job was full of bull crap, right? Everybody at that particular time that they was hiring was full-time employees, right? But they hired me as a temp. So I'm already coming through the door as a temp while everybody else that they hire is full-time employees, right? So as I come through the door, I'm getting paid X amount of money, right? But everybody that's coming through the door as full-time employees, they're getting paid three, four, five dollars more than me. And I'm already looking at like sideways, like, dang, like that's crazy. Like how the hell y'all even come through the door Y'all ain't got no type of background. My, 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 my resume looks way better than y'all's and stuff like that. I had to go through a temp service to get this job. But y'all went through wherever y'all went through. And y'all able to get this job just like that. And y'all getting paid more than me, right? Now, when I got uh, into the job and stuff like that, that was one of the big issues right there that I heard from a lot of people that was already working there. They were saying that a lot of people... <laughs> excuse me. I just got that eating some Taco Bell, man. Forgive me for this. But a lot of people was already saying that you know, um, the people that's working there that's been there for years and stuff like that, they getting paid less money than the people that's coming in. So it was already a tension already there when it comes to the employees and the management and stuff like that, blah, 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 and stuff when it comes to pay and stuff. So I was one of those people coming through the door like, damn, like y'all giving me X amount of money. I'm doing more work. I have more experience, but y'all giving these folks more money than me. But, you know, I shut up. You know, a job is a job. At least I got a job. Let's keep it pushing, right? So, they keep on telling me that, man, you're doing a hell of a job, blah, blah, blah. You know how jobs do and stuff like that. You're doing a hell of a job. You're doing this and doing that. You know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. We, 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 we want to hire you in. We want to hire you in. We want to hire you in. And I wasn't the type of person because I've never been the type of person because I didn't went through this experience plenty of times and stuff. I've never been the type of person that, oh, y'all going to hire me in. Let's go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, press the issue and stuff like that. I always been the type of person, if y'all gonna do it, y'all gonna do it. Like, stop telling me what y'all gonna do, just do it. You feel me? Like, stop telling me this. So, it went from 
me hearing that type of wordplay within a week or two of me being there and stuff like that, and they saying that, oh yeah, within a month, we're gonna hire you in, at the end of the month, we're gonna hire you in, blah, 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 all this whole stuff, to being eight months later, to them finally, finally hiding me, uh, hiring me in. Now, at a particular time, I had this uh, white dude that was my uh, supervisor and stuff like that. I'm not going to say no names and all like that because I don't want to, you know, DOS people or whatever the case may be. But uh, anybody that works there because it wasn't that long ago and stuff like that, y'all know who I'm talking about. Uh, a lot of people didn't like him or whatever the case may be, but I will say this much. He was one of the coolest supervisors that I had. He was laid back. He was understanding and stuff like that. Um, he really worked with you. He was just one of those guys that, look. As long as you don't do me dirty, I ain't gonna do you dirty type stuff. And I, and I was cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, bet. If I don't do him dirty, he ain't gonna do me dirty. He, he was a man of his words. Like, I never did him dirty. I never played him. I never said that I was gonna do this and do that, blah, blah, blah. And you know what I'm saying? You know, fake it or whatever the case may be. Like, I was a man of my word. And every time that I was a man of my word, like, he really rocked with me. Like, he really looked out for me and stuff like that. Blase, blase. You know what I'm saying? He was a cool dude. And I finally got hired in because he was one of the guys that really pushed the envelope of like, man, Joe, like, y'all saying y'all gonna hire this guy in, man, like, hire him in, like, why y'all keep on playing around, like, six months in went past, y'all still ain't hiring him, like, everybody here is full-time employees, he's the only temp here, like, why y'all playing with him, like, he was the one that pushed that issue, right, so, push come to shove, eight months later, I finally get hired in, right, so, once I finally get hired in and stuff like that, or whatever the case may be, I get my pay raise and stuff like that. Getting the same pay that I should have been getting from the get-go that they was hiring people from day one. But I had to wait eight months to get that. But I finally get it, though. So everything is good and peaches and stuff like that. I'm chilling. You feel me? So push come to shove. Uh, supervisor that I had a particular time and stuff like that. Um, some things went on with him and stuff like that when it came to him and upper management and stuff like that. Um, he ended up quitting. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just ended up leaving the job and stuff like that. The job had a very, very big-ass turnover rate when it comes to employees, management, whatever. Like, everybody was quitting or just getting fired. Like, the job just had a huge-ass turnover rate. Like, nobody's job was safe there, right? So, my supervisor ended up quitting. The crazy thing about it was I wasn't even there the day that he quit. It. Like, I had COVID that week, so I was at the crib and stuff like that, and, um, I was live streaming at the particular time and uh, one of the guys that I was cool with and stuff like that, he came through on my live screen like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Guess what just happened? Woo, woo, just quit. Woo, woo, and all this. So I'm like, what? Really? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. So that's how I found out about it. So when I come back to work uh, a couple of days later and stuff like that, um, you know, they letting us all know like, you know what I'm saying? Such as quit because they already know and stuff like that, but I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? From what they know. But uh, they're like, yeah, you know, such and such is quit, blah, 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 and all this old stuff. Uh, we going to, uh, you know, do our thing and stuff like that. But uh, we got somebody in line that's going to be your next supervisor. So we had this one female uh, there. Uh, she was a, I don't know her exact title, but uh, like I said, I'm not going to say her name, so nothing like that. But um, she was the person that when it came to um, new employees and doing like walk arounds and orientation and stuff like that, she was a person that handled that type of role and stuff like that or whatever the case may be. Uh, they ended up making her uh, our supervisor for first shift. Now, when I first met this uh, woman, she was cool and all and stuff like that, whatever the case may be. But um, I quickly heard stories about her, like, you know, saying she's very toxic. She's very messy. Um, she's been locked up for being a drunk, you know, something about her, you know, catching multiple DUIs, falling asleep at the wheel, at the stoplight, blah, blah, blah. She done went to jail. She got felonies and all this old stuff. And I'm like, damn, like, she got off this and she's the goddamn supervisor. Like, hold on a second. Like, I wish I had my buttons right now because that shit tough, bro. Like, y'all letting her be the supervisor and she done did all this, like, and... I used to sit there and talk to her or be around people that I was talking to and stuff like that. She was very, like, she was one of those females that act very masculine. Like, oh, yeah, I beat bitches' asses and blah, blah, blah. You know, just talking, like, just reckless, right? And she had that type of rapport with us, like, you know what I'm saying? Because at the point of the time, she wasn't our supervisor. So, you know, she would talk to us like how, you know, everybody else talked. Like, we just chilling, bullshit, kicking the shit, kicking the bubbles, whatever the case may be, right? 
But when she finally became our supervisor and she know that she was become our supervisor, you know, she talked to us and stuff like, hey, you know, I know all of y'all, you know, we all cool and stuff like that. Ain't nothing going to change, you know what I'm saying, blah, 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 and all this whole stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just come to me like how y'all always been coming to me and stuff like that, right? So we looking at her like, all right, bet. Well, let me take that back. They looking at her like, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? We got a cool ass supervisor. I'm looking at it like, I don't trust the shit. And like, I just seen this shit too many times. Like, the shit sounds too good to be true, right? You know what I'm saying? That's just how I think, right? So, months go past and stuff like that. She was our supervisor and stuff like that. She playing a cool role in whatever case may be. But just like with any type of supervisor position where you have upper management on your ass and stuff like that, she eventually started to change. She started to change and... You know what I'm saying? Going against, you know what I'm saying, her fellow employees, the people that's on her shift and stuff like that. Like, us as first shift, we was the ones that made that company move. Like, second shift didn't do nothing. Third shift didn't do nothing. First shift was the one that made all the values, all the leaders, all the numbers, just everything. If it wasn't no first shift there, that company would have crumbled. You feel me? But yet, every day, we used to get backlash and we used to get criticized and you know, get talked down about and blah, 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 and all this old stuff. And she just never stood up for us. She just sat there and just agreed with what everybody else was saying and just told us, work harder, work harder, work harder. It's like, dog, you want us to work harder and stuff like that, but like, where the reasons why this company is still at full? Like, just give you a number and stuff like that. We got three shifts, right? The goal for the day is to make 30,000 liters, right? First shift make 20,000. Second shift make five thousand. Third shift make two thousand. That's only twenty seven thousand. And we get yelled at because we didn't hit gold. It's like, bro, we made twenty thousand liters. Second shift made five thousand liters. Third shift made two thousand liters. Why is we getting yelled at when we made twenty thousand liters? We made over fifty percent. We're pretty much sitting there at that seventy eighty percent mark. But we're getting yelled at. But she just never stood up for us and never just defending us and stuff like that. And, you know, me being one of the employees and being friends with all the other employees and stuff like that, you know, we, we talked about it. It's like, damn, like, we got this woman. And no disrespect because she's a woman and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But we got this woman here and stuff like that. And she ain't helping us out. She ain't showing us, you know what I'm saying, no, no words of encouragement. She ain't, you know, defending us, nothing like that. Like, it's just... We get cussed out every single day. Like, oh, we need to make more numbers. You know what I mean? First shift need to do this. First shift, it's like, what you mean first shift need to do this? First shift need to do that. We're making 20,000 liters a day. The goal is 30. First, I mean, not first. Second and third shift combined only made 7,000 liters. Why is we getting yelled at? You feel me? But she just never defended us. And like I said, this woman... I went to one of her little, like, you know, birthday parties or whatever case may be at her crib. You know what I'm saying? She was one of those women that, you know what I'm saying, just have to be in the right place at the right time. Like, I remember one person said this, and it, it was so true because when I sit there and thought about it, I was like, damn, that shit is really true right there. She was one of those people that, she's black, right? Like, don't, you, don't get me wrong, she's black, right? But she was light-skinned, though, like, very light-skinned, right? So, she was one of those women that she was... White enough for the white man, but black enough for us, if that makes sense, right? Like, she was light-skinned enough to sit there and be in front of the white people and blah, 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 and all that old shit, whatever the case may be. But she was black enough to talk crazy and ignorant to us all the time. Motherfuck this, motherfuck that, nigga, 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 all this old shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, yeah, I smoke weed, I drink, ooh, ooh, damn bitch ain't gonna beat my ass and stuff like that. Like, that's how she talked to us, right? So it was very conflicting for her to be our supervisor and stuff like that, right? But long story short, um, pretty much six months passed by, what the case may be. And uh, it's getting to the point that me and her not seeing eye to eye, what the case may be. Because it's like, she's just poking at any and everything. She's poking at these people. She's poking at these people. She po and when I say these people, I'm talking about people that's on our shift, first shift, right? The people that she's managing and stuff like that. She's poking at this person, this person, this person, me and stuff like that. Want us to do this, want us to do that. And I get it. You're, you're management. You're part of management, stuff like that, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? But... If the wheel is not broken, why are you trying to reinvent it? So I used to sit there and be like, yo, like what I'm doing now is, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, costing nobody no time or anything like that. Like I'm doing my job in a way where 
I'm getting my numbers out where they can do what they need to do and they can do what that like ain't nobody waiting for me. You feel me? But she always used to be like, no, I need everything. Done. I need everything. Done. I, 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 like, bro, chill out. Like, there's nobody waiting for what I'm doing. Like, they already got their product. We're good to go. Second shift, what are they doing? Third shift, what are they doing? Like, don't do that, right? So we used to get back and forth bickering like that and stuff like that. So we used to never, like, see eye to eye and stuff like that. What the case may be. And um, it came to a situation where... Uh, they changed uh, the policy or whatever the case may be of uh, the job and stuff where um, they had a three striker out type of policy where um, once you run out all your sick time, because they had sick time and stuff like that. Once you run out all your sick time and vacation time and stuff like that, um, you have, you know, one strike, you no, know, of no sick time, no, no, no vacation time and you miss a day. That's one strike. That's a, uh, a, a written warning. No, verbal. That's a verbal warning. Uh, the next one, that's a written warning. Then the next one is uh, termination, but but it's up to management description if they want to terminate you or stuff like that or whatever the case may be. So it was a situation where um, I had got sick and stuff like that. Uh, I had caught COVID in uh, 2023 and stuff like that or whatever the case may be. And, um, and I was sick and... Um, basically how this job operated was any day that you miss a day you have to call in and stuff like that or whatever now i have been out before for covid and stuff like that i only had to call in one time let them know like hey i got covid you know say how many days am i allowed to miss they'll be like all right you got to miss five days as a requirement blah 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 whatever case may be at the particular time and that's it i don't have to call in no more right and i'm like all right cool bet so when i got covid this last time I called them like, yo, I got COVID and stuff like that. What y'all want me to do? Well, you got COVID and stuff like that. We need you to come back on this date right here. I'm like, all right, bet. I'll come back on that date, right? But they also said that if you're not feeling that good, you still feel like you're down and out and stuff like that, let us know, call in and come in the next day or, you know, we'll go on from there and stuff like that. So I'm like, all right, bet. So the day comes along where, you know, the date I'm supposed to come back and stuff like that. I'm still not feeling that good, you know what I'm saying? So I call in, I'm like, yo, I'm still not feeling that good. You know what I'm saying? Is it all right if I miss one more day, blah, blah, blah. I'll come in tomorrow. I got all the paperwork and stuff like that from my doctor, you know what I'm saying? I got all that. They're like, all right, cool, bet, bet, bet. So the next day, um, I'm about to get ready for work and stuff like that or whatever the case may be. And um, she calls me. She calls me and it's like, uh, hey, uh, we need you to... Uh, call such and such you know i'm not gonna say no names and all like that but we need you to call such and such from hr and stuff like that uh don't come in right at the moment so i'm already looking at like don't come in at the moment and she like yeah we need you to call such and such at eight o'clock in the morning so i'm like so i'm already sitting there looking sideways like what the fuck, what's, what's going on right here so i wait until eight o'clock i call uh the lady they want me to call for hr and stuff like that and um Pretty much the lady tells me that um i've been terminated um you know i've been fired and stuff like that for not following the so-called guidelines on what they wanted me to do and i'm sitting there like what you mean i'm not following the guidelines i called in when i found that i had covid y'all told me that i don't have to call in every single day that i'm going to miss i just supposed to come back on this particular day but if i'm not coming in on that particular day i need to be a form to somebody to let them know that i'm not coming in that day and which day i'm coming back and that's what i did but they still terminated me so i'm like you know what whatever like at the, at that particular time i really didn't like the job no more either like i was just fed up with it like the management sucked everything about the job just sucked yeah they pay good and stuff like that but it's just i tell this to people all the time it don't be the job that be hard. It be the people that works for the job that makes the job hard. And that was another case. Like, it wasn't a job that was hard. It was just the people that worked at the job that made the job harder than what it was. Like, the job itself, what I was doing and stuff like that was just sweet. It was easy. Like, the easiest money I ever made in my life. But it's the people that makes the job harder than what it should be. You feel me? But uh, I, I wasn't really that upset. I was like, yeah, whatever. Like, shorty ass be tweaking. Like, she always used to try to find ways to try to, you know, fuck people over and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Talking about my uh, supervisor and stuff. 
you know, she always be trying to find ways to fuck people over and stuff like that. Act like, you know, she's cool one moment, but, you know, the next moment she would act like, a, you know, a bitch. You know, I'm just going to put it out there. That's what she want to act like. You know what I'm saying? You want to do this and say this and cuss at us and blah, blah, blah. And I put and you know, said all this to management and stuff like that. They jotted down and stuff like that, but nothing ever came about it. Like, yo, she's talking to me like this. I heard her talk to this person like this, but nothing never came about it, right? Of course, she's part of management because so they are always going to defend her and be on her side versus us, right? That's how the corporate world works, right? So, um, I get fired or whatever the case may be, right? So, I'm not really tripping, right? So, the first thing I think in my head is like, all right, I'm fired or whatever the case may be, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and collect unemployment. So, I go ahead and uh, try to file for unemployment and stuff like that or whatever the case may be. Um, they give me a phone call or whatever, just make a long story short. And uh, we have an on-the-phone uh, on interview and stuff like that. And they asked me, like, what's the reason why you got fired? And I let them know the reason why I got fired. And they sit there and was like, okay, that's the reason why you got fired? Well, they're telling us that they terminated you because you was in jail. I'm like, I was in jail? What? Like, I was never in jail. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's what they say. They say that somebody called in and said that you was in jail. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Somebody called in and said, was it me? No, no. They say somebody called in like, I don't know, maybe your mother or your sister. It sounded like a woman. I'm like, wait a minute. They're going off of what somebody else is saying after they just got done talking to me on the phone and saying that I'm out for COVID because I got COVID right now. And this is the story that we're going with. Like, listen how stupid that sound. So I'm trying to explain to the person that I'm talking to. You know what I'm saying? For the unemployment and stuff like that or whatever. And they're like, yeah, that do sound very odd and peculiar and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to call them back and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to give you a call back and stuff like that. And we're going to let you know what our uh, determination is or whatever. So a couple of days go past, almost a week go past and stuff like that. I get a letter in the mail where pretty much I'm denied of unemployment. I'm like, I'm denied of unemployment for what? And it states right there where it says that, oh, you're denied for unemployment because you didn't go the right way about the procedures and the protocols when it comes to calling in when you're going to miss a day of work um such and such you know saying my name knows the procedure and the protocol what they need to do of calling in and stuff like that so now i'm like damn y'all just sit there and really just play me and just sit there and lie so it's like damn y'all just let these folks to sit here and lie so then i went ahead and did an appeal and stuff like that or whatever the case may be or whatever and it's like this is crazy like it got to the point where I had to sit here and phone call this person, phone call that person, and send them this and send them that, and I and I sent them information that you know my doctor or the you know doctor that I seen like yo I'm out for COVID and blah 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 and all this old stuff and just all these loops and runarounds and all this old stuff. It got to the point where it's like, bro, this is why I tell people and anybody that listens to me, these jobs ain't shit, bro. Like on some real last shit, these jobs ain't shit, bro. That's why I'm so happy that I put myself in a position where I don't have to rely on no job, no corporation, no, 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 uh, no company and nothing like that. Like these jobs ain't shit. A lot of these people, y'all just don't know how severe of what's going on in the situation that you're in. Yes, you may be working a job that you're getting paid 30 plus dollars an hour. You got this car, you got that house, your family's living this good, blah, 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 and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, you're still at the mercy of this job. Meaning that if this job was to fold today, you have no money. If you was to get fired today, you have no money. So on and so forth. I just got myself in a mindset that I can't rely and depend on a job no more. And I know that may sound very cliche and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. But it's the truth, though. These jobs ain't shit. Putting all my trust and all my belief and all my worries and stuff like that into this goddamn job right here that I can easily lose tomorrow. It's just not worth it for me no more. That's why I went full time into live streaming, being a, 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 you know, social media influencer and stuff like that. That's why I did that because I can't put my, you know, all my eggs into one basket for a job. Like I just can't do it because this job is not guaranteed. You know, from all I know is I can go into work tomorrow and the person that, you know, is my management or something like that, just have a, a pissed off day, just have an attitude today. And today they decided to fire three people. What can I do? I can't do nothing because I'm at the mercy of this job right here. Like, I just think like that. Like, I, I, I just can't, you know, sit there 
and, and, and put that in mind, you know, back in my uh, cerebellum and be like, damn, everything that I got and stuff like that or whatever, or whatever I'm fighting for or, or, or trying to get to and stuff like that is at the mercy of this job right here. And if I go into work today and my supervisors have a pissed off ass day and fire me, what can I do? I can't do nothing. Or, or, or me and my supervisor, we just not seeing eye to eye and stuff like that. What can I do? Can't do nothing. I just wish that a lot of these jobs was being held more accountable uh, for their employees and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, man. There's a lot of employees that just don't give a fuck about the job and stuff like that, blase, blase. But I'm just looking at it from a, a standpoint of, of me and stuff like that. Um, before I got fired for that particular thing, or whatever the case may be, they had just hired a person that's on their 90 day you know, saying uh, grievance and stuff like that, where they have no sick time, no vacation, no nothing. You know, they got to go 90 days before they get in that stuff. You know what I'm saying? They on their, uh, you know, what, what do you call that shit? You know what I'm saying? Uh, their grievance time or whatever. Uh, not grievance time, but, you know, the time where they don't have no sick time, no nothing, right? I forgot what you call it, right? But uh, this person missed four days. Four days. Now, granted, the rules that the full-time employees got they have sick time and vacation time and stuff like that. We only get two days. Well, really three days. You miss one day, that's a verbal. You miss another day, that's a written. You miss another day, that's termination up to uh, management description. So us full-time employees, we, we only get three days. But this person missed four or five days. And they kept this person hired on and stuff like that. And it's like, I just seen so many politics and... You know back and forth and stuff like that like you know how these jobs be man just so politic and stuff like you know this person's cool this person so they're gonna look out for this person blah 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 there's, there's so many politics man like i just didn't have time for it, man a lot of me and employees and stuff like that i'm not gonna say no names because i don't want to throw nobody on the bus but a lot of me and employees and stuff like that were like we had conversations about this stuff like it was just so so much politics to do with this job like it was just it was just sickening bro like we're sitting here making paint. Was, that's what the job was. It was, a, it was a paint company or whatever. But we're sitting here making paint. But yet, we got all these politics going on. Like, these people are cool with each other. These people right here are part of the go along, get along gang. And, you know, since this person don't do this and do that, you know, they're going to look out for this person. But then they ain't going to look out for this person because this person speaks up. They're not going to, you know what I'm saying? It was just so much back and forth stuff, bro. It's like, I just got to the point, bro, like, I can't believe I'm working for a job like this. Like, this is a multi-million dollar company, but this is how they move and operate. And don't get me wrong, this is not my first rodeo. It's a lot of jobs out there that moves like this and stuff like that. But it's just crazy to, once again, another job that I find where, you know, you go back to the first day when you get hired on and stuff like that, or the first day that you start working, you're just so happy for the job. You know, you're getting paid good money and stuff, and you got all these goals and ambitions, like, oh, yeah, I can start doing this and doing that, blah, blah, blah. And then surely, but be surely, you start to find out that this job ain't all cut out to what it, you know, it is cut out to be. You know what I mean? Like, the job itself is cool. The job itself is perfect. The job itself is sweet. But it, once again, it's the people that messes up everything. And this job right here that I was working at particular time, it just messed up everything for me. And that's why, you know what I'm saying, I made sure, because before I even started working there, I was already doing the live streaming and stuff like that or whatever the case may be. But I made sure, like, man, you know what I'm saying, I, I got to put myself in a situation, in a predicament where I don't have to rely on no, 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 no corporation. I don't have to rely on no job. I don't have to rely on no supervisor. I don't have to rely on no management. I don't have to rely on no coworkers putting in a good word for me because they about to fire me. I don't have to rely. I don't want to have to rely for that for no more. That's not life right there. That's not living right there. You feel me? And me working at that job right there, XBL, Nobel, whatever that job is called, I don't even, I don't know. It's going to be in the title, right? That was probably one of the worstest jobs I ever worked in my life. Honestly, it was. Do you feel me? But I just want to make this video real quick, uh, not to talk too long and stuff like that or whatever case may be, but I just want to make this video real quick, uh, give y'all a little backside and stuff like that, like what really made me start, you know what I'm saying, doing the YouTube, the Twitch and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, being a social media influencer and stuff like that, like what was the motivation of me doing that? And it was because of that job right there, because that job right there was a straight bullshit, you feel me? Like, that's what it was. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. It is 2.30 in the goddamn morning. 
I'm chilling, man. I'm vibing out and stuff like that, man. Y'all make sure y'all have a safe one, a blessed one. I promise one, you dig what I'm saying, man. Nothing but peace, love, and positivity. You already know we rock a bullet, cooling, and schooling. Until next time, I'll let y'all the next one. Peace, love, and blessings. I'm up out of here, gang, gang, to the end of the days. You already know we rock it. And I'm gone, man. Holla at me next one, man. Let's get money, man. Gone. Look, check the wardrobe out. Y'all see the wardrobe? Yeah, check the wardrobe out, man. You already know I'll be rocking, man. I'm up out of here, man. Gang, gang, man. Let's get money, man. Gone.